Hi Leo, this is your February mid-month tarot reading. I do three separate spreads in my mid-month readings. We'll have a spread on new love, a separate spread on love in an existing relationship or marriage, and I'll do a love from the past spread. Please like, share, and subscribe to support this channel. This first spread is on new love in the second half of February. We have uh, the Chariot, clarified by the Ace of Swords. We have Death, clarified by the Six of Swords. We have Strength. In the potential outcome, we have the Knight of Pentacles with the uh, Ace of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles, and we also have the Ten of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You could also be dealing with a Cancer or a Scorpio or another Leo or pretty much any zodiac sign. Whatever this person's zodiac sign is, Leo, this is somebody who is very, very powerful, somebody who is really established. That's what I keep getting from this spread. Right, an established individual. You know, they've got um, things going on for this for them, right? And they're gonna come in uh, with a very powerful attitude, in a in a good way. You will have respect for this person immediately, and I think this is what's gonna cause you to fall for this person, because you know that this person means business. This person does not take no for an answer, but at the same time, you know, you'll be kind of impressed with the way you know this person handles things. Right? I don't want to say they're going to handle you, <laughs> but you're going to like how established, how powerful this person is. It's like this person demands respect and whenever this person walks into a room, everybody stops doing what they're doing and they just, you know, pay attention to this person and they listen to what this person has to say. This is the, uh, the energy I'm picking up, you know, a very powerful individual. You know, the first card I came out is the Chariot, and it's qualified by the Ace of Swords. The Chariot is the personal Cancer card, you could be dealing with a Cancer, or the Chariot is a card of victory. This is the first card that's coming in for you, right? The Chariot is also one of the fastest cards in the deck, so I, I believe that you're going to be on board with this person almost immediately, you know? Um, the Chariot is all about moving forward and not looking back. And uh, the Ace of Swords, clarifying the Chariot, this is a, a very straightforward, very direct uh, conversation you'll have with this person, you know, you'll know what to expect. Uh, the Ace of Swords is the Ace of Truth, the Ace of Swords is a brand spanking new beginning, so, so yeah, this person is not going to be playing around, they're not going to be fooling around, they're going to come in, and that's pretty much it. <laughs> right, um, yeah. The Ace of Swords is, a, is the Ace of uh, being very decisive, you know, it's just like, you know, it, this is how it's going to be, and uh, that's it. But at the same time, like I said, this person will resonate with you on so many levels, uh, to the point where you're going to be like, yeah, this person is it, I can always rely on this person, I trust this person, I respect this person, you know, this person will always be there for me. The next card I came out is Death, is another very powerful card. Uh, death is the personal Scorpio card, you could be dealing with a Scorpio, but Death is pretty much a transformation of your life, like overnight. I know it's partially blocked, but in the uh, Death card in the middle, on the right side, there is a sunrise. This is a new day beginning for you, Leo, with this person. That is a transformation of your life, a major transformation for the better. The Six of Swords, clarifying the Death card, this is a positive card. Uh, the Six of Swords is a card of a rough patch being over. This is a card of literally moving, literally going someplace, just like the Chariot card, by the way. And the Six of Swords is a card of moving out of choppy orders towards calm orders. So this person will make your life better. I'm not saying your life is terrible right now, but your life will like immediately drastically improve <laughs> right with this person in your life. It's like you will feel like um, this person is just rock solid. That's what I keep feeling. And therefore with the Six of Swords um, you're moving forward with this person. We have Strength right there in the middle. Strength is uh, your personal card, Leo, unless you're dealing with another Leo, right? So the, the, uh, the thing itself that you come in as a major arcana card means that uh, this person sees you as an equal, right? Because it's always a good sign to have your own card in your own reading, right? It's like, almost feels like an emperor and the empress in the same reading, right? 
Um, in the potential outcome, we have the Knight of Pentacles with the Ace of Pentacles and the, the Three of Pentacles, and we also have the Ten of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck all the way here. Right? You could be dealing with an Earth sign towards your Virgo Capricorn, but most likely this is all about this person being really, really serious. The Ace of Pentacles in the middle is the second Ace. To me personally, the Ace of Pentacles is the Ace of all Aces, and it is definitely a proposal in this particular uh, spread and it's kind of symbolic that the cards came out the way they the, the way they did right the knight of pentacles is holding out a pentacle and uh, that's exactly the pentacle we see in the ace of pentacles it's like we're zooming in on that pentacle right the knight, the knight of pentacles is the most stable the most grounded financially secured type of deal right the three of pentacles right next to the deck this is a card of two people building this connection together making sure the foundation is solid and again I just want to iterate one more time that this person will be looking at you as someone who is equal to them that's why the Three of Pentacles is there both of you want this both of you are on the same page both of you are looking forward to um, this being built right and uh, the Ten of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck is a card of a committed relationship or marriage very serious very stable very grounded long-term type of a deal with the Ten of Pentacles. So, wow, Leo, just wow. Hold on to something. <laughs> this person is going to come in and they're not going to take no for an answer, but you'll like it. You'll like it a lot. You'll love it. <laughs> All right, really happy for you, Leo. Congratulations. Leo, if you are already married or if you're in a relationship, this spread is for you. We have the Queen of Swords, we have the Lovers, we have the King of Swords, and uh, we also have the Four of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You know, when the cards came out, I couldn't believe it, <laughs> but I didn't even want to clarify anything. It looks so good. So we got the King and the Queen of Swords. Uh, that usually means a power couple. If your significant other or your boyfriend, your girlfriend is an air sign, that makes total sense, right? Because the Queen and the King of Swords could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. The Lovers in the middle, by the way, is uh, a Gemini card. But uh, if we want to stay general, then yeah, the two of you are a power couple. You know, perhaps the two of you are two celebrities, or the two of you stand out of the crowd. The two of you are definitely on the same page. You could be like um, hatching a plan to conquer the world. <laughs> right? The Lovers is an amazing card. Um, if it's not a Gemini you're dealing with, then the lovers is uh, the love of your life, right? This is also a card of a soulmate connection. It's a card of a twin flame connection, if you believe in twin flames. It's a great card to have, you know. It's one of the best cards when it comes to love. And the four of ones on the bottom of the deck is a card of a committed relationship or marriage. So you see how, why I didn't want to clarify anything? Um, so yeah, if you want to conquer the world, um, Leo, it's definitely possible. <laughs> All right, and uh, your world could be as big as a city or a neighborhood or your own uh, house or your own apartment. You guys decide, but you're definitely on the same page, having lots of fun doing doing all these things together. You know, yeah, it's it's great. It's this 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 spread right here is also great, just like the first spread. <laughs> all right. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Leo, in the second half of February. Keep in mind, it could be somebody from a couple of months ago, a year ago, or a couple of years ago, so it doesn't have to be the most recent ex. We have Judgment, clarified by the King of Pentacles. We have the High Priestess, we have the Nine of Wands, and we also have the Four of Cups on the bottom of the deck. This is a very straightforward uh, reading. Leo, you'll be dealing with this King of Pentacles, uh, the first card to your left. Uh, most likely an earth sign towards Virgo or Capricorn, and uh, your answer is going to be no, absolutely not. Uh, the King of Pentacles is clarifying the Judgment card. Judgment is a card of somebody coming back from the past. The High Priestess in the middle, this is most likely a card of your intuition in this particular spread. You intuitively know that uh, this person is no good for you, or you know nothing is going to come out of uh, you giving this person a second chance, right? Uh, the Nine of Wands right next to the deck, this is a card of a wounded warrior, this is a card of somebody who's got trust issues, so you don't trust this person for the obvious reasons, right? It's also a card of, um, you know, you putting up a wall between yourself and uh, this King of Pentacles. And the Four of Cups on the bottom of the deck, this is a card of a rejection, so yeah, you're telling this person no, um, you're sending them back to the past where they belong. Like I said, a very straightforward reading. 
I'm not going to waste any more of your time. <laughs> and that's what I got for you, Leo, for uh, this reading. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Leo, have an amazing the rest of February. And there you have it. This was your tarot reading for this time period. I hope it resonated with you and helps you live a better life one way or the other. Thank you for watching, sharing and subscribing.